You're aware through uh, this year's briefing uh, that we've examined some of the circumstances surrounding the burn under of the, the District 18 spare tanker at the Parsons Road fire in Swan Hill last year. I'm here today with Gavin Hoare, the OIC of the Swan Hill District Mechanical Workshop and uh, Gav's going to take us through some of the uh, parts of the truck that crews should check when they're offline filling up with water after they've been uh, fighting a fire in long grass or heavy crop. Uh, some of the things, Gav, that crews should check to make sure that they're not in a similar circumstance, perhaps? Yeah, there is a, there's a number of areas, Gav, we can look at. Um, predominantly starting at the front of the truck. Um, when, you, when, they get a, when five minutes, they get five minutes, they can actually come along and have a look, and especially with a torch, they can actually get down underneath, have a look at the radiator and in along the chassis rails. That will give them a fair indication of if they've uh, been filled up with, with stubble or, or crop head. Um, which predominantly caused the underburn from uh, last year's Parsons Road fire. Okay, and the next, next area we can check um, while we are quickly having a look at our truck is just along the side and in beside the uh, battery carrier and even open up the battery carrier to have a look down around any side around here, see if there's any, any stubble or anything stuck there. Um, and uh, have a look, you can normally see down underneath as well if there's any uh, stubble and stuff stuck underneath your chassis rails. Probably if you're gonna, when you, when you pick up the front of the uh, radiator and stuff, because, of, because the truck's going forward, predominantly you'll find there's a lot of stubble and that. If there's stubble at the front, there's key indication it's probably in the middle as well. So you can actually still get underneath and have a look um, and go from there. So then we get down the back and we get a torch in along the back as well and we'll see, you can have a look on top of your spare wheel um, and you'll see a lot more chassis, chassis uh, rail and cross member stuff that you'll clearly see that it's full of uh, stubble and stuff like that, which uh, helped cause that fire. Um, if they do find that their radiator is full of stubble and the DMOs aren't around blowing them out, yeah. um, this could be the first five, half an hour or whatever it may be, they, uh, they can actually just get a hose and just gently squirt the, squirt the uh, radiator, radiator down and then uh, clear the stubble off it.